Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And recently in my last video, one subscriber, John Arden, posted this comment. Um, in this video, we are going to talk about that stuff. So let's get started. And firstly, if you have an upcoming interview with a professor, firstly, I want to say congratulations because it takes time and a lot of dedication to even get at this point. So congratulations, celebrate that. And also best wishes, don't overthink it, just be calm. And follow these tips. So now we can start. Tip number one is interview depends upon professor to professor. So there's nothing much we can control about it. Um, most of them are chill chill as in uh, they know that students are nervous for this stuff it's like a big thing for them and um, that's why they try to calm you down with like some conversation ahead of the actual questions uh, so you can get used to you know the environment and all that um, but some I think rarely some professors will just get into the business, but I have like heard heard of that thing like one or two times, so don't be afraid of that. The second tip is that um, the thing you said earlier in email, any kind of document like SOP, uh, letter of interest in your CV, in your email. Just know what you wrote, not as in uh, like memorize, but for example, if you have mentioned that you have worked in a lab, you should be able to tell that um, what type of lab, lab equipments were used uh, and what kind of research you did, something like that. Um, just know uh, what you did and what you wrote in your CV or any kind of uh, earlier conversation because they might ask, uh, oh, I can see that you have mentioned this experience. Uh, tell me something uh, about it. Um, they can ask like that. So be prepared of uh, those things. Um, I made that mistake because in my CV, I had a lab experience, which I didn't, which was not that ex like extensively i didn't work that extensively in that lab um but i i had mentioned that because we have to sell ourselves and a um, little bit of experience you just mentioned it but i didn't know much thing about that lab and um one professor asked me like what type of lab equipments you uh, you used for that experiment and i couldn't tell so don't make don't make that mistake and it, it's embarrassing <laughs> and third tip is prepare some common questions like what's your research interest tell me about yourself why do you want to join his lab her lab uh, what is your long-term goal like phd or you want to go to industry but i think most of us say phd I don't know why, but yeah. So uh, get prepared for these kinds of questions. Uh, it is very common. Uh, I actually like wrote some prepared answers and like learn them, but don't like memorize, memorize, but you will, you have to be able to um, mold the question, uh, answer when, if the, if they ask, the same questions but a bit differently you know you should be able to mold the answers uh, within themselves so get prepared like that the fourth tip is that you can prepare by looking at their lab website uh, go through their research uh, what are ongoing research what were their past research and uh, what are the current lab members working on um, something like that and also you can read some of their articles mainly methodology part and see how they work in their lab uh, what's their method mostly so you 
um, just be prepared for that and uh, but just know they don't ask about their work like do you know my work kind of uh, questions they don't ask that stuff they just ask about you because this interview is to know about you they already like you from your email they just want to know that you're a genuine, genuine person so it's just a interview and fifth tip don't be nervous if they don't ask uh, the prepared questions uh, like i said earlier in my interview uh, my first interview actually professor was really really friendly he calmed me down in the interview uh, and we had some basic conversation at first but he was not asking he did not ask the conventional questions i was prepared for he um, rather he asked something like if uh, for example if you have certain type of um, problem during your research or your work uh, how would you tackle such problem kind of like that questions uh, like situational and um, those kind of questions are not like pass or fail uh, it's just that they want to know what type of environment did you work uh, previously or like you as in person so doesn't matter that much um uh in that question i just said like i would try to see what's wrong uh in the process and um go through some literatures if i can't fix it maybe i will um get some help with my lab members um and if that doesn't help i will um ask you uh like potential advisor so yeah just be prepared that some professors might ask those type of questions uh, also um i gave like four or five interviews only uh, one professor that one asked me such situational questions so rare but yeah there are some professors um and i like those kinds of questions um it's it it challenges you but it's just nice um so the i think yeah last tip uh, prepare your questions too because at the end of the interview they will ask if you have any questions for them um, as you are looking for a professors they a uh, professor they are also looking for a student and they want you to choose them uh, in most of the cases so they want um i think asking questions um shows that you are serious about them and you have done some research or like you just you just are thinking uh, to work with them like seriously yeah that that doesn't make that sense but it is what it is so i i personally believe that it shows you are serious um in the whole situation so some of the demo questions you may ask are like do you practice hands on or hands off teaching if you don't know what's hands on and hands off uh please google it i also didn't know um before <laughs> so yeah you can just google it and see um another do you mostly work in fields or labs if you are interested in fields work so you can ask like to prepare ahead what type of work will be your like uh, that will be your kind of life and you will have to spend a lot of lot of time in that so you have to be prepared if you are going to work in field or in the lab and uh, another question um how far is the field from university uh most of them are like near 10 to 15 minutes drive um but some are like few hours away so just to be prepared you can ask that and um um in like related to the this question you can also ask like am i supposed to get driver license um like way ahead in the uh, masters or phd Mm. and 
another one is do you, for our masters especially because in PSG um, it's different um, like do you have an existing project that I'll be part of or I will have to come up with uh, one like you have to think about a new project or you will be joining some kind of project already so that's for masters because I uh, in my this position I just uh, there was already a project um, and I just was a part of it and in some master's position the the professors make you to think about some uh, topic come up with a topic and do the research so just to be prepared and um, other than this like you can ask some questions about assistance stuff um, sometimes the um, there is like a specific uh, waiver tuition waiver in mostly um, in assistance the tuition is fully kind of waived so you can ask something about that or you can ask about stipend or living expense um, that's all right so yeah uh, those are the tips i came with and i think this will help you to prepare for the um, interview mentally and best of luck best of luck for that and be calm and composed as possible you can do it thank you for watching guys bye bye